Hello you guys, I am home in Maryland. As you can tell, I got back late last night from my week in New Orleans and it was so fun getting to join my mom on her work convention. We had a lot of bonding time, some great food, met so many fun locals and it was just all in all a great trip. I'm home now for five days and I've got lots to do. It's going to be kind of a work heavy few days and I will also be doing lots of packing and prepping because I am leaving Friday morning for a 21 day adventure. I am flying to Florida from Florida, flying to Puerto Rico from Puerto Rico, getting on a Caribbean cruise that is going to Aruba, Curacao, St. Kitts, Port de Franc, and then from Puerto Rico, flying back to Florida, going to 30A, which is over in the Panhandle for a few days, flying home from Florida to be home for one single day, and then I'm jetting off to Portugal. So I am gearing up for the craziest month of travel I think I've literally ever had, with the exception of my month in Europe in October. So I'm really, really excited to be somewhere warm. We actually have three inches of snow on the ground right now. But yeah, I've only been home for like five days this entire year, so I'm actually really looking forward to having five days here. This morning I slept in and I read a little bit. I am reading The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros and I'm only about a quarter into it but I really love her war books. This one goes back and forth between World War II and now so I read a little bit and then I edited My Week in My Life. It's currently 1 p.m. when I'm coming at you guys because as you know these take me quite a bit of time to edit. So this is processing to YouTube right now. We're about to head downstairs and package up a ton of Poshmark orders. I did a big closet clean out and it's time to package those up and get those in the mail. I'm unboxing a few packages that came in the mail while I was gone last week and how cute is this package from nudes they had like a fake bouquet of flowers and then a bunch of new pink styles tied up so cute they sent pajamas and a bodysuit I also got this new fragrance from Skylar I love their stuff so much I usually give their stuff to my sister because she is a huge fan and I have so many perfumes but this one I definitely think I'm gonna keep it's called sun kissed Dahlia and it smells amazing it's kissed by the sun and then Mika also sent over this frizz fighting treatment which God only knows I need right now I just made myself a turkey sandwich for lunch with Pepper jack cheese, avocado, and spicy mayo. Okay, I am back upstairs. I'm actually going to run all that stuff over to the post office tomorrow just in case anyone orders something. But I'm going to just sit in bed right now and work on a blog post. My blog was undergoing some big renovation last week, so I didn't have the chance to publish any new blog posts. So right now I'm gonna sit down and tackle a couple of those. I know it's Sunday, usually the day of rest, but just trying to get everything done before this big trip. Okay, I just shared a blog post of what I wore in California, just kind of rounding up some of my favorite looks and linking a bunch of things that I had with me. As you guys know, I was re-wearing the same things like over and over again, so I wanted to just give you a general blog post with links to everything. And while I went through and linked things, I'm actually watching the show One Day on Netflix. I'm not really a huge TV girl. But I heard a lot about this on TikTok and I just kind of wanted some background noise while I did meaningless computer tasks. So this is where I'm at. After a week of eating like kings in New Orleans, we desperately needed a vegetable today. So I requested salad. We have red peppers and cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, chicken, cheese ranch and these little guys these are the best these little tortilla straws okay i'm about to take a body shower i actually washed my hair this morning and i wanted to show you guys what i used because i have been using this for the last few weeks this is what's in my travel bottles and my hair has been incredibly dry i think it's because of this 
bonding treatment so today i switched it up and i used the bumble and bumble repair shampoo and conditioner and then i also did a mask i used the virtue keratin restorative treatment mask this smells phenomenal you guys I love it. It's the same brand as that healing hair oil that I've been using. My hair is like looking super, super brown right now. And the blonde is like not very cute. But I've been trying to stay away from lightening it. And I'm gearing up, like I said, for three weeks of sun time. And I have a feeling it's going to lighten up quite a bit. Plus, I'll get some nice sun on my face and hopefully be a little less scary pale. So, anywho, just want to rinse. Before changing into PJs. My eyes are killing me right now from the screen time, so I'm sitting down and reading some of my book before bed. Good morning, guys. Woke up at 7.30, and I just got a blog post up featuring some Big Bear outfits. I know this trip was already a few weeks ago, but I wanted to make sure that I got this up late rather than never, so sharing a bunch of things that I brought on this trip. Morning guys, I am getting ready right now. Usually I'd be getting ready for the gym, but it is a holiday and therefore our gym is actually closed. So another day of rest. So today's plan, I need to film two different TikToks for a brand deal. And then I'm going to film a couple of pack with me reels. Rather than doing the type of pack with me's that are like you throwing everything into a suitcase, I've found that the ones where I try on every single outfit I'm bringing perform really, really well on Instagram reels for me. So I want to film a couple of those. I'm gonna just get a head start and do it today rather than Thursday. Thursday's when I'm actually going to like put everything in my suitcase and try to get that baby under. 50 pounds which is going to be literally impossible and then I think I'm gonna go to the Bob Marley movie with my mom she is off today and her favorite thing to do is go to movies so I think we're gonna go see that and then I'm gonna run over to the outlet mall and head over to American Eagle and pick up some new selects and I also need to run and drop those Poshmark things off at the post office so busy day ahead new lips combo today I love the Essence 8 Hour Wear um, lip liners. They are so, so creamy and they last forever. I'm putting on the shade number two, Silky Hazelnut, and then I'm using the Ulta Beauty Lip Oil. I've only tried their lip plumpers, not their lip oils, so this is my first time and I really like it. Yum. Okay. Finished up crimping my hair and I got two new products from the brand Urban Wild. A texture dry spray and a wild beach spray. And we're gonna try both. I like my texture sprays to be a little tackier. I don't really use hairspray ever, but I do like to use a texture spray and kind of give myself an all over scrunch and poof. I love my hair crimped. Um, and since I was filming beach stuff today, I figured this could be fun. My hair color is still looking drab, but the first TikToks that I'm filming are with these Pumi bodysuits. If you guys have never tried these, they are absolutely amazing. I'll leave them linked down below. They are the best Skims dupe ever. I love Skims. I have tons of their stuff. As you guys know, I wear their bras and their underwear almost daily, but this Amazon seller has basically the exact same fabric blend and the stuff is so good. I brought both of these with me to New Orleans last week, styled them a bunch, and I'm just filming two quick reels with these. I genuinely can't think of anything more exciting than going to the tropics for three straight weeks. I have been stockpiling clothes for my three week adventure for so long now and I just laid everything out in color order and I'm so freaking excited. I've got stuff from Hutch, Billabong, Petal and Pup, Fortunate One, Sailor, Hello Molly, and a bunch of free people. I've got some new jewelry from Kendra Scott, just all kinds of colorful things. So I really wanted to be able to link all of these outfits onto my LTK as well. And rather than giving myself a headache going back and forth and moving my room around, I decided to just take lens buddy pictures right here against my bed, which this is like my typical filming setup for TikTok, as you guys know. I love, love, love all the looks. And then of course I did the ones with the Pumi bodysuits as well. 
success. It took me about two hours to knock all that stuff out and then I just organized a bunch of my room. Look at you guys, my corner of laundry is finally gone. I put away a ton of stuff, I got rid of some stuff, and I got dressed off to movies, post office, and mall. I am wearing an airy little crew neck, free people movement pink vest. My hat is from Princess Polly. I'm wearing airy yoga pants, and then some of my all-time favorite sneakers, which are the Puma platforms. I wear them all the time with yoga pants for like casual errand days when I don't want to be in Uggs. I'll even link it down below as well. Just off to the movies to have a mother-daughter day together. We had such a great week in New Orleans. We just can't stay away from each other now. movie was good you guys what actually made me want to come see this movie is that last week I was writing my Jamaica travel guide copy for my new website and I was doing some research and I was like oh my god I didn't know Bob Marley died at 36 and when I found out he died at 36 I was like I wonder how he died like I assumed he must have been like shot or had like a like very sudden death, but he actually died of melanoma cancer in his toe. And then a couple of days ago, I got an ad that was like a Bob Marley movies coming out. And I was like, what? I didn't realize that they were doing a movie on his life. And so we went and it was good. I realized I literally knew nothing about him and it was really interesting. Um, I feel like concert uh, artist, memo <laughs> I feel like concert slash like artist movies always end up being a little bit slower, but still good. I'm about to head over to the Outlet Mall right now. That's why my mom and I drove separate. And I'm like, I feel like I should listen to some Bob Marley. Okay, let's hit it. Okay, I heard Old Navy was killing it lately. So I wanted to come in, try on a cute sweatsuit and then a little linen set. I really like this set, but I'm not a huge fan of the Old Navy branding on the side. Their sizing is also so wonky. Like, this is a size large, and I'm 5'2 for reference. At first, I was like, this orange is super obnoxious, but then I was like, wait, this would match my hokas perfectly. She's definitely coming home with me. They have the best band tees. I don't know anything sublime, but I love the colors of this one. And it's like $10. Okay, lucked out at American Eagle. Got tons of new arrivals to share with you guys on stories and TikTok this month. And then I also got one linen button up from Old Navy that I want to bring on this trip. And I'm gonna wear it on Wednesday. I'm actually going to drive to Delaware on Wednesday and take some pictures with my aunt. She is a full-time photographer. If you guys did not know, she is in the Pennsylvania, Delaware area and is known as their number one family photographer on the beach. And I really needed new headshots for the sake of rebranding and for my scholarship. They asked for like new headshots and things like that. So I think I'm gonna do one dress and then one like a white top and jeans look. We'll see what I can come up with when I get home. Ran over to Ulta really quick because I needed a new foundation. I got one from Maybelline a couple weeks ago and it was the wrong shade. And I also got another Essence lip liner. Always checking out what's up here too. Oh my God, they have a mini one of these. This is like my all time favorite. It's $18, but like, wow, I think I need that. Guys, I forgot that it's a holiday and that the post office is full right now. Like sometimes when there's too many pa like packages in here, see so you can't open and you can't mail anything out. So I'm stuck, but I'm talking to Krista right now. So it's okay. Hi. I'm like, don't worry, Krista. I'm going to go and get gas instead. I get here. Every single pump says, sorry, we're out of gas. Out of gas? What does that even mean? <laughs> I got home just in time for dinner. Mom made these like fancy beef tacos. I don't think we've ever had this kind of beef. We haven't. But it looks really good. And we've got rice, guac, sour cream, corn. You know the drill. All right, came home to some packages. So let's show you what I got. All right, the first package is from a brand called skies are blue and i got two jumpsuits from them you guys are probably like mehanzi what the hell is that 
I thought that this could be so cute in Portugal. I'm starting to think about outfits for that trip. You guys are probably like, Mackenzie, what the fuck? I thought you just told us you were going to the Caribbean for three weeks. Yes. And I come home for 24 hours and then I'm going on a trip with EF Ultimate Break to Portugal. I got the green light on it last week and I'm so excited about it. I'm not 100% sure how the weather is going to be and so I've wanted to kind of get a head start and start planning some fun looks. I thought this could be really fun because I could wear it on its own or I could layer a long sleeve underneath of it and wear it with sneakers. That is key. You guys know me. I am not a fan of wearing sneakers like at all. Um, but in Europe, you just like kind of have to wear them. You know, you got to accept reality. And so I bought this pair of Adidas Gazelles. Love them. I'll link them down below. And because of that, I need some looks that are going to be cute with that. So I figured jumpsuits would be kind of fun. These are both denim. I love this blue one. I'm going for really bright, fun, funky florals is the vibe of the trip. I've pinned a bunch of stuff on Pinterest if you guys want to check it out. Anyways, then I got some rings from Electric Picks. Um, right now I have on rings. This one is from Amazon. This one's from Amazon. This one is a random one I bought in Hawaii and rediscovered today. This one is from Electric Picks. And then this one is just like a random one I've had forever. Ignore my nails. I literally haven't gotten them done in a month, but I have a nail appointment on Thursday. Anyways, I used to wear a few rings from Electric Picks every single day. And I accidentally lost them. Well, I didn't act. Yeah. They were in my purse and they fell out and that's a big bummer. So I got some new ones to replace them. Thank you Electric Picks. And then I got two um, workout dresses from Halara. I love their activewear dresses so much and I have a TikTok to film with this stuff tomorrow. And then I'm actually doing something with Jurgens in March, a fun little sponsorship for some self tanning sun drops these are for your face you can also use them for your body and i love that they're this like little applicator because i'm gonna be able to pack these on my trip i tan really easily on my body but not so much my face so i always have self tanning face drops with me as you guys know so yay that was exciting um dinner was good i'm about to take a shower and cozy up in bed post an instagram photo and then work on my next rebranding task while i watch some of that netflix show i just did a thing you guys i booked a spot in st pete for a full four week good morning everybody happy tuesday i woke up at eight and i got some reading in i just placed an order for some business casual clothes you guys really liked my last batch so i'm gonna do a spring batch um, some stuff from Altered State went through my inbox and now I am getting ready to try the post office and gas thing again and then I'm going to hit the gym today. I need to film that Halara workout dress TikTok and I'm going to film a TikTok and take some mirror photos in the American Eagle stuff I got yesterday and then I'm going to plan a couple of outfits to bring with for tomorrow's photo shoot because that's going to be an all day thing. It's going to take me about two and a half hours hours to get there two and a half hours to get back so tomorrow's gonna be kind of a packed day so the week is filling up today to the gym i'm wearing this adorable little set i love these bras they're great dupes for the lulu align tanks and then i've got on glow mode leggings white little cover up is from glow mode as well and then i'm about to put on my hokas post office run first this morning I'm not gonna lie you guys, today is my first day pumping gas this entire year. I have paid for gas though because I was in California and even though I didn't have my car, Ashley and I were trading off every other tank I would pay for. But I was like, how crazy is that? That it is February like 20, February 20th, yes. And I'm like, okay, I guess I should get gas. <laughs> I decided to switch it up and do a different video for abs than I usually do. And I didn't like it nearly as much, but I still feel good. So I guess that's what counts. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Get it right, get it right. I'm feeling hyped after my workout, you guys. I had such a great workout, guys. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. Just got home to a package from a brand called LSKD. 
So it's funny because this brand is actually um, a company that one of my old sorority sisters works at. She messaged me and was like, I'm working on their marketing team. Can I send you some stuff? And I was like, oh my God, sure. And I've seen their stuff on TikTok. They just came out with a United States store. So I got these blue bike shorts that look super tiny, but very stretchy, which I'm excited about. And then she sent a bra to match. I really want to wear this like tomorrow, but I think I'm going to save this stuff and bring it with me on my trip. How cute is that bra? 1% better every day, this t-shirt says. Just a black like oversized shirt. Ooh, cute little green leggings. I like those. These are 7 eighths length. And then this cute little gray crop. And then she also sent me this little bag. So fun, thank you. I'll leave all that linked down below. Anyways, I'm hungry, so let's eat. My mom is so sweet and thoughtful. She knows that I've been addicted to Greek yogurt bowls lately, so she went and got me all the things for it. This brand of Greek yogurt is called Specifically Selected. It's definitely much worse for you than the one I usually eat just because it has like three times the amount of sugar in it and like half the amount of protein. But she said she went to Aldi and that they didn't really have many options. And I'm really insistent that it be vanilla yogurt instead of plain yogurt. I really don't like plain Greek yogurt at all. It tastes like sour cream to me. Then I got blueberries. Best granola from Nature Valley. And some strawberries. These ones are so big. That's pretty good. We have these new bowls at home. They're like the deep, like plate type of bowls. These are my favorite. All right, them. let's rinse. Hi, I am getting ready right now. And I used new foundation, the L'Oreal um, Infallible up to 24 hour wear. I used to use that back in the day. I saw it at Ulta yesterday and I was like, all right, let's give it another try. And then I picked up an Essence lip liner, my favorite in a new color. This is shade four, I already put it on. And then my all time favorite lip plumper ever is from Ulta. Yesterday I was showing you guys the lip oil, but I love their lip plumpers. And I was finished with my other one. It was clear and they didn't have another clear. So I ended up getting this other shade, Strawberry Shortcake to try. Let's see if it's any good. This stuff burns, you guys. Like if you've ever used this stuff, it is like super, super intense, but it works wonders. I like it. Fun. I'm gonna pop a couple more crimps in my hair and then I'll be done. All right, I've got outfits laid out with all the new American Eagle stuff and I'm getting ready to start filming slash taking pictures. I'm so obsessed with this crew neck. I'm so glad I ended up getting it. It wasn't on sale, but like with my smiley socks and my hokas, how fun. I've been wearing my white hokas like crazy, but I can't wait to pull these bad boys back out. This outfit is so me. I love this cardigan. It comes in a few different colors and it is the softest fabric ever. The big hug crew neck is what I throw on when I don't know what to wear. I took mirror photos in all of those outfits and filmed a couple of TikToks. And then as I was putting away all of those clothes, I also picked out a few outfits for tomorrow. I'm going for white, easy breezy linens and some denim, as you guys can tell. I'm not 100% sure what my aunt's vibe is gonna be, so I just am bringing a bunch of different options. I just took one look at my feet and I was like, you need a pedicure, sis. I usually do my gel at home, but they need some help. So I'm gonna go walk into our nail salon and get a pedicure. I had a manicure scheduled for Thursday. I might just get them done now. And I packed up my computer so that I could get some work done while I'm in the chair. Okay, I decided to just get my nails done while I was here too. And I promised myself I would do something other than white. So I got this fun bubblegum pink. Um, I'm not 100% sure the name, but it was shade 102, I think, and they look so good. I asked for them as short as possible and super square. My nails were actually very strong right now, so hoping they last a while. And then I'm getting a blue on my toes. I couldn't decide which to do, so I ended up kind of doing both. And I'm just getting some work done while I sit here. I'm scheduling tomorrow's YouTube video. I just picked some stuff from Dolce Vita and just moving my way through my inbox.
It's always such a shock seeing something other than white on my toes. I hated it first, but then I ended up loving it. So. We're having a new meal today, which it's is actually too. from July of 2002. Mom and Dad eat it regularly. No, you ha no, you don't. Regularly they eat it, except I've lived here for 22 like years. Three, four times. And I've never. <laughs> True, I used to make it all, all right. the time when they were kids. Okay, screenshot if you want the recipe. Here's the other side. We're going to old school. I can't even leave you a link. Anyways, um, it's a cooking light recipe. I'm sure that, they, that it's on there. I think it's on Mom's Pinterest board. From 2002? There they are. Dad's grilling them up. It looks good. Okay, I just finished up dinner and I'm about to hop in the shower and take an everything shower because I am going to go get a spray tan tonight. And before you get a spray tan, you have to, first of all, take off all your jewelry, which is gonna take me a minute because I have quite a few necklaces on and apparently everything's tangled. Shave, exfoliate, and then make sure that you have no lotion or anything like that on. Or loose clothing super quick like five minutes i always just go into town we have like a local spot that does it i think it's like 25 dollars. i usually go and post on socials for her in exchange or like create some type of content but yeah i never look worse than when i go to get a spray tan but you got to be in your baggiest clothes so here we go if you need a last minute spray tan this is the place to be literally the easiest process ever you just step inside get sprayed twice forward and also twice backward and then you're done they have the instructions on the wall and I always get the darkest shade okay now we just wait six to eight hours for it to develop so usually I go at night and then I'll rinse off in the morning and you have zero transfer with this type of spray tan so nothing getting on your sheets or anything like that anyways I just posted on Instagram and now I am cozying up in bed and I am working on a rebranding task. I know you guys are sick of hearing me talk about rebrand. All right, here's what I'm doing today. So this is obviously my old website. And as you can tell, this has a site map. You click fashion, you click travel, you click college. And when you click on travel, it's going to take you to all of my travel blog posts. And you, it's just an endless scroll. My new website, you're going to be able to... Click travel and click girls trip, click road trip, click European trip, click Caribbean. You're going to be able to move around by state, by country. Fashion, you're going to be able to sort by season. And in order for that to happen, you have to manually go and sort all of those blog posts. So right now, I am clicking a bunch of buttons for 1600 blog posts. I started yesterday, not even close to finished. Um, it's a very mindless task, like it doesn't take any brain power, it just takes time. So I'm watching TV while I do that and that's where I'll be for the next few hours until I decide it's time to switch over and start reading. Good morning everybody. I want to talk about this book a little bit because I feel like I've mentioned that I'm reading it for a while but I haven't really talked about it too much. I'm halfway through and it flips back and forth between like the war in like the 1940s to the present. I read a Rebecca Yaros book before and absolutely loved the characters that she set up. This book I believe is one of her first books. It's a little bit older and you can really see how much her writing has evolved and developed um, in the latest book that I read from her. She's also the person that did the Iron Flame series I think. The past parts are really slow like really slow um just because it's a lot of military talk almost to the point where like you don't really understand it if you don't come from that kind of background it's good i just wish it was a little less slow burn you know like there's nothing like urgently getting me through this okay i just rinsed and i look so good you guys perfect spray tan i've got a little orangey palms i definitely should have washed my hands yesterday but they don't look too bad the rest of me looks super natural i'll leave my place linked down below in case you guys are local to me but it looks so good i think we're gonna end up starting on the beach so i just put on this cute little white top from free people and jeans my hope is to get a couple of cute headshots just like this. I'll end up being barefoot, but for right now, I've got Dolce Vita Xena sneakers on, my favorites. I actually have had this Raffia pair, like this straw pair, for 
like almost a year now and I've actually never worn them outside. I style with them all the time, but I never end up bringing them on trips because I'm just not a big sneaker girl. I'm more of a sandal girl, but they look perfect with my other few outfits that have got packed up. So gone are the days of me hyper fixated on bagel sandwiches because this is like my love language. I want to note that it is literally freezing outside right now. Like it's like 35 degrees right now. It's supposed to warm up to like 44, but I'm gonna be shooting in like this little white sweater and then like a tank top. So today is going to be quite chilly, but I'm excited and I'm gonna make the most of it, you guys. All right, I've got about a two hour drive. I'm gonna be jamming. Leave my playlist down below. I listen to the same one. Like I, you guys are probably like, oh, like well, your other playlist, like your current playlist. Leave your current playlist. No, babe. I have a My Country Jams playlist that's from 2016, and I just keep adding to it. And then I click, I scroll down to the bottom, and then I just like pick a song where I'm willing to start. You know? Okay, let's kick it. Two hours. Yay! I made it, you guys. It's like 12 o'clock. Right as I'm rolling it. Bye. You guys might remember Josie because we were here for Christmas and she got her ears pierced. Show them. Oh, she's got her new earrings on now. And show them your new necklace. Mm -hmm. I brought Josie this little Kendra Scott heart necklace. Isn't it cute? Anyways, we are here with Auntie. Say hey. Hey, hey. And we are taking some pictures in, what's this park called? Cape Henlopen. Cape Henlopen Park in Delaware. And I've got a couple of different outfits, like I said, right now I've got on this little cardigan and hat moment. American Eagle, Gigi Pip, same hat. I really, my mom was like, please not the hat. And then I was like, the hat is a part of my brand. Signature. Mom, I always have it on, it's my signature. So we're just kind of exploring. We're gonna head to the beach last because it's cold and then I'm gonna be wet and like, you know, there's no going back. But it's really pretty and we'll show you some behind the scenes. And you can check out Ansi if you guys are in Pennsylvania slash Delaware area. Yay. Book her family sessions down below. <laughs> We've got my extra outfits in this bag. And we're taking some pictures right here. Uh, do that again, I'm gonna come in for a tank top. Rest your hand on, rest your hand on your, no, the other one. Just what you did, you have this hand coming, yeah, just like that. Lower than you. Beautiful. It's 40 degrees, changing into a bikini and taking a couple of swim shots down by the water. Beautiful out right now. We've got some clouds rolling in, but the lighting looks so good. And I'm just rocking some beach here now. We ventured into the cutest little spot in town. Eddie B Edie B's? Is it Eddie B's or Edie B's? Edie, Edie B's. I just got um, dark chocolate sea salt caramels. And Josie, here's your present. Aww. Pull it out. Well, you have to take it out. Show them. Aww, so cute. You. With your bunny. <laughs> We're in downtown Lou's and we're at this restaurant called Kindle. It's $14 burger night. It looks so good. The bacon looks amazing. Fries are so good. Josie, tell us what you got. Awesome. With noodles and tell them about your drink. Is it good? It's her first one. Burger night. All right, you guys, it is eight o'clock right now. It was an hour and a half drive from my aunt's house to the beach there and then an hour and a half drive back. We shot four looks, we had such a great day. We got dinner, we went to the town. I just visited with my aunt and uncle for a little bit and some of my cousins. Really was off the grid and now I'm getting ready to drive another hour and 45 minutes back home. I should get home at 10 p.m. So full busy day, but just wanted to update you guys and tell you that I had a great one, so love you. Good morning guys. I am going to be real raw, honest, and vulnerable with you right now and tell you that I am having crippling crippling anxiety for a few different reasons. The first is that yesterday on my drive home, I just had like a severe mental breakdown. I just have really been missing my college friends lately, you guys. And I was driving home from Delaware and I passed the field that I went to go watch Mike play at in the summer. I went to like see him play a couple games in May and I remember at the time thinking like, I don't know if I'm gonna go back multiple days in a row because it's like an hour and 45 minutes away and I was like, I just have a lot going on. And yesterday I was like, I would drive 10 hours 
to get to spend one hour together like like just to get dinner like that's how much like I am missing my college friends right now is like I would go to the ends of the earth I would do anything anything just to like be in the same room together for a few hours and I feel so silly for like taking that time for granted in college and then in May for like thinking that that was so far because yesterday I was like wow like I would I wish I could drive an hour and 45 minutes to see him and to see Olivia Lauren and like to just like be with my people I guess um so anyways I went to bed a little emotionally drained and then this morning I woke up to some website review basically we had to take my old website down so for the next few days like nobody can access Sal by McKenz if you click on the page it'll say coming soon um, and that's because at some point you do have to like actually take down your website and it has to be down for about a week while they build out the actual website and seeing the way that the website functions now is like so exciting but there's a couple of elements that just like can't work the same way that they used to and after eight years of like being used to my website I'm like wow that's like really shocking and the change is like really scary to me and then I was like oh my god I forgot to check into my flight and now I'm C34 tomorrow and if you are a southwest flyer like C34 is just like a guaranteed you're gonna be in the middle seat and it's like Mackenzie <laughs> and I never ever my phone always notifies me to say like check in right now and it didn't today and Thank God I re thank God I remembered an hour late and not like four hours late. I would have been the last person boarding the plane. Sorry for it sounds like I'm whining right now and I know I'm gonna edit this and wanna cut all of it out, but I'm gonna force myself to leave it in because this isn't me complaining, it's just me sharing my um growing pains in this stage of life and I wanna just be real and honest with you guys. Like I'm so excited to take off for the Caribbean tomorrow and I know I'm so fortunate and so blessed, but I'm definitely having some some anxious thoughts this morning it's okay we're gonna get after it here we I'm go i'm ready to pack up and i wanted to show you the shein order that i got yesterday i placed an order for a bunch of accessories i really wanted to order this stuff from amazon but everything was literally so much cheaper on shein that i just ordered it from there i got a bunch of fun accessories both for this trip and for my trip to portugal I've got a few very specific visions in mind. So I got two scarves, a few of these like little flower clips, this cute little starfish clip, a mini little straw bag because I wanted to be able to bring this style, but my one is so big. I got this adorable pink and orange clutch. I might bring this with, I might end up leaving this home and only bringing it with me to Portugal because I don't have a ton that will match this right now, just this outfit. So we'll see. And then I also got this fun little hat and a couple pairs of earrings that are downstairs, but we're going to start packing I'm up. so embarrassed to admit how long it just took me to pack, especially considering I already tried on all of the outfits the other day, but that just took me almost three hours. I decided that I wanted to film a really aesthetic pack with me reel featuring my new style by suitcases. Originally I had planned on bringing both of the white ones from Mark and Graham and here is the reel. It turned out super cute and as I packed everything up it fit beautifully in the two suitcases. I posted about it to my Instagram stories and everyone was like, Mackenzie you're really going to regret having two suitcases for the cruise. Just bring one bigger one. Um, it'll make your life a lot easier. So I ended up using my pink Samsonite one. This is actually what I brought with me to Europe for the 30 days. The pink suitcase is super big. Like I actually have tons of space in it. The problem was that I was at my max 50 pounds. So what I ended up doing is putting the extra clothes into this little pink duffel baggy type of tote that I carry all the time. And I'm just gonna check those two items. I am flying Southwest for all five flights, which is super nice because with Southwest you get two free bags, you get a free carry-on and you get a personal item as well. So I can kind of decide if I want to keep that pink tote with me or if I want to check it. I ended up putting all my workout clothes and swimsuits in it. And then tomorrow as my personal item, I'm gonna be using my Long Champ tote bag. So I figured that would make life a little bit easier. I've never been on a cruise, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm assuming that the room is gonna be about the same size as when I was on the yacht. 
with Navigare and I was like, you're right. I don't want two suitcases and to have to deal with that. Okay, I laid out an outfit for tomorrow. I'm just gonna wear a blue little workout set with that new orange American Eagle crew neck and my Hoka's. I just got a package in the mail from Dolce Vita. I ordered this stuff at the nail salon the other day. It's already here. Well, one of the boxes is here. Let's see what I got. Dun, 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 dun. I love Dolce Vita. They're my all-time favorite shoes. How cute are those, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love these because they look like a flip-flop, but they've got a little bit of a heel. So I figured these would be really flattering for my next few trips and give me a little bit of height. Also, I wanted to show you some of the earrings that I got in that Shein order. I need to convert these into clip-ons. I actually have a video from many years ago of me converting real earrings to clip-ons that my dad helped me film. And I will leave it linked down below because the method hasn't changed. I haven't converted earrings in so long because I really only wear like small gold hoops. But I wanted to have some fun beachy accessories. And then I also got these Kendra Scott earrings that I want to convert. So that's part of today's plan. It's already 1.30 though. I'm like, oh my gosh, where is this day going? Eating my yogurt parfait again. I like never work out at this hour, but I've got a lot of things that I want to link to like to know it and some phone work to get done. So I'm gonna head over to the gym and do it. Wearing an airy little sports bra and then shorts from Halara. All right, you guys, I'm freaking exhausted, but I just did an hour, burned 600 calories and got so much work done. I know this is gonna be hard for you guys to believe, but I did come home to two packages. <laughs> and I have a horrible feeling that it's something I'm gonna wanna bring on this trip. And I'm already out of space and weight. So if I like it, I'm gonna have to wear it on the plane. <laughs> All right, package from Lulu's. Oh my God, it's another straw bag. <laughs> and a straw hat, you guys. So I picked out this hat. I didn't know it had this like brown thing around it. I think I picked a different hat and they accidentally sent me this hat, but it's cute. And I got this bag. Oh, mom's coming to join. Hi guys. I got, oh, oh my God, another straw bag, two straw bags. So I have, you probably like, like because you already have this. The bag that I have and carry all the time is from Lulu's. Yeah. And like it was that. sold it's out. It's a little bit smaller. No, it's literally the exact same bag from the same exact company. Oh, I thought it was I just a little got a new taller, one. but. I got a new one to, this is like my most used purse. I wear it like going out and stuff because it's it's a bucket bag, so it's big enough to fit my camera. It's one of the easiest bags to get stuff in and out of. And you can wear it like this, or you can wear it like, like this. So I wear it all the time and I got a new one because my other one has literally been like laying on the grossest bar floors you've ever seen. It was time to get a new one. That looks pretty ratchet. I would believe that these are probably a pair of straw shoes if you might believe that. There they are, new Those in the cute. flesh. So cute, Dolce Vita. All right, let's see what else I got. Oh, I really wanted to bring this bathing suit. It's like a one piece moment. Mom's gonna be like, what the hell is that? What is that rosette? It, they're they're so popular right now. It's so huge. That's I got cute. this red dress because like we it. have a red dress night on the cruise. But then I found a different red dress. I like that one. But it's okay. And then I got this little set, which is so cute. These are the pants. Cute. And this is the top. Cute. Cute. All right, let's do some rearranging in the suitcase. I had such a great workout. I'm so glad that I ended up going to the gym. I'm about to sit down and post my Instagram photo. And then in about 30 minutes, I'm having someone from high school come over and pick through some clothes. I ever come over like a couple times a year to just go through stuff before I do a Poshmark dump. Um, so I'm gonna be able to get rid of some stuff, which I'm excited about. Dinner tonight, my last home cooked meal for three weeks. I'm about to eat out every single day. So I'm really excited about today. We're really having here. we're having tater tot casserole and salad. I love tater tot casserole though, I'll never complain about it. All right, it is time for me to shower and I'm thinking that I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight. Um, it's got another day in it. I think I just need to put a little bit of dry shampoo in it. I've been using the Living Proof dry shampoo. And it's really good. I usually just put a little bit of it in at night and then let it do its thing. Between the recent flights and getting that spray tan, my skin is so dry. 
So post shower and I am like really, really lathering up. Uh, when I need something like really intense on my body, I'll use Cetaphil. And then on my face, I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Cream. When I'm on the road, I usually use La Roche Posay or CeraVe. But when I'm home, I always use this jar. Honestly, I would prefer to use this all the time because it's super thick but hydrating and it feels very lightweight at the same time. I know that sounds weird, like how can a moisturizer be thick but lightweight? But like it's a very airy feeling moisturizer. If you've used it, you know. But the jar is really heavy and like kind of an inconvenient size. So I never end up bringing it with me. I feel like every time I'm home, I talk about these little like silver balls. I got sent them by Neutrogena and I love them. They're like freezing ice cold all the time. There's some type of like water in them that stays cold, but oh my gosh, they feel amazing, you guys. Putting on a little bit of Tula under eye stuff. I don't do this all the time, just every now and then if I feel the need for a little pick-me-up. And then on my lips, I'm doing a little bit of CeraVe healing ointment because nothing else is working. Who knows when the next time I'll eat ice cream is, so I'm having a cone, a drumstick, and right now, I am about to pick out Abercrombie Selects, you guys. I have been begging Abercrombie to send me gifting forever now. And they emailed me yesterday and I literally freaked out and cried. I was so excited, so. Gotta finish this show, you guys. I only have one and a half episodes left. I'm hooked. The end to this show wasn't anything super shocking to me because unfortunately TikTok spoiled it for me and I already knew how it was gonna end. But I thought it was really good series. I loved their chemistry. I thought the acting was really good. Well, I'm actually gonna end this off here and I'm gonna start a little weekend in my life in Florida for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed and are getting ready for all the fun travel vlogs. St. Pete first, then Puerto Rico, then cruise vlog. Stay tuned, I love you guys. And if you wanna keep up with me on a day to day, make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where I'm gonna be most in the moment, especially during these crazy travel days. So love you guys. Mwah.